Alright, back again. Good to see you. Now, today I'm going to do the demo on how to actually use your brand new wax paddle. So, if you've just returned from watching my previous two, welcome back. If not, check them out. You're going to watch how to make one of these bad boys. This is our wax paddle template for making our foundations. So, if you have a quick look in there, what we've got is a silicon rubber base here with the fine textures and that's going to be our casting mould to start with. So, what we're going to end up with is wax foundation sheets as thick as you want. So I've been talking to a lot of people on the um, top bar forums about um, increasing the thickness on your foundations, which is great for your top bars. You can take as thick as you want. Good to go. I'll just show you. This is one that I, I was a bit naughty and I stole out of the hives. So I'm just going to show you. So on, on one side you, you come with the texture and you see the girls obviously following that texture nicely and doing as you would expected. Now obviously on the other side you're going to have flat, but you can see it doesn't, doesn't seem to bother them at all. They'll still carry on and they'll, they'll draw out the comb as they would on the other side there. So you just got to make sure when you stack them in the hives, you go face back, face back, face back and never have any problems. Okay, so what we need today, we're going to need a big old bucket with some nice cold water, a little bit of uh, bar soap like a sunlight, you know, real basic, no, no sensors or anything like that, just a little bit just to help reduce the surface tension of the water. All right, your wax boiler, whatever you want to use. I'm using a uh, good old uh, electric fry pan. It's good because you've got no, no gases or no open flames to um, ignite and they're cheap and easy, you don't have to make anything. Go get yourself a cheapo one. Uh, now you're gonna need a thermometer. Okay, this just a little cheapo glass one. Um, later we're gonna use that, that's just a template to cut it down. And uh, if you're using your own wax, obviously you need some of that. Today, our friends at Collins Honey have uh, very kindly provided us with the wax to do our demonstration. So thank you to Collins Honey there. Appreciate your support. Check them out. They do local um, frames, local wax, lots of stuff. Good guys. Uh, Alright, so what we need to do to start with, whether you're using purchased wax or... Um, there you go. Purchased wax or your own wax or whatever. Uh, you need to take it up to temperature. So to sterilize it, we need to go 100 degrees, so between 100 and 110. Um, that's Celsius <laughs> for all you guys out there overseas. So uh, 100 and 110 degrees Celsius. Uh, beeswax starts to evaporate at 150. So you want to be careful you don't go above that and don't walk away from this for too long. Um, the other thing I might note, we're inside. Anyone who's tried to melt wax outside, the bees will smell it a mile away and they'll give you a hell of a time. They will search that out. So we're just starting to warm up there. I've got a few trimmings from the last that I did. Alright, so we're going to bang our wax in there. Should mop that big one in there first. Okay. So I'm going to walk away now. Um, we are going to probably, uh, probably about 15, 20 minutes, we'll get this up to temperature. Like I said, 100, 110 degrees, sterilize it for all your AFB, all that sort of stuff, any bacteria. Don't forget to put your lid on. Um, and don't be too far away. I'll be back shortly and we'll show you how to actually tip, dip your paddles in and we'll go from there. See you soon. Okay, so, didn't film it, but while you're away, uh, we raised it up to 110, kept it there for about 10 minutes, make sure everything's all sterilized. And I've actually dropped it back, this is the important bit, I've dropped it back to 75 degrees. So you want it between 80 and 70, 75 degrees is perfect. It will drop as you're using it, so keep an eye on it. But that's the ideal temperature to make sure you don't get sticking, but you get enough wax on it to make what you want. So all we're gonna do, I've got this, I've had this paddle soaking. Okay, so it's all nice and wet around the edges. All right, so we'll grab the lid off. Make sure the paddle's moist, but not too wet. Give it a bit of a shake. Okay, so then we dip him, roll him across, and then pick it up. All right. Now you want to keep keep an eye on how thick it is. So depending on what you want to make, um, you'll get an idea of how many dips you want and how, how much temperature and stuff. Uh, you don't want it too thin because it will be difficult to peel off, and too thick is obviously going to be wasting wax and all that sort of stuff, but uh, anyway, that, that looks pretty good. I might give it another little another little dip on this side. You can see it's starting to be a little bit thin on that side, so. Another very quick dip, shake, shake, shake. All right, then dip them in the water. 
Now, I like to do it in the water. You just need to free these edges. See how they're peeling away nicely from the edge here? That's because we soaked the paddle and these raw edges soaked up the, uh, soaked up the water and it's now stopped the wax from soaking in. Alright, so free a couple of the edges, just like that. Alright, and this next bit I like to do in the water. You can do it out of the water, but it just helps make sure all your wax is fully cooled when you're doing it. So start on one corner, grab it, and pull gently back. Now the first couple are going to be a bit on the sticky side because it's a new one. But the more you use it, the more they'll fall off. So that's it. Okay, that's one. See the side here. Alright, we'll just get a couple going and I'll just show you how to trim them up. Give it a shake. Remember, you want to shake the droplets off. If you get the droplets in the water, they'll make little hard bits and you'll get um, defects in your comb. So, roll it in. I'll go another one. Roll it in. Oh, missed a bit. Oh, that's an ugly one. Free some of the edges. Now, if you squeeze the silicon like this, the edges will free pretty easily. So you just bust a couple of those open. In my previous video, I did say it makes it a bit easier if you've got a bit of thicker silicon. Uh, it's because when you do this squeezing technique, you've got a bit more travel and it just it frees the wax a lot easier. But you'll, you'll get the hang of it. In the water, give them a peel. Mm. Here's a few of the few of the bees have even got inside. They love the smell of this stuff. Absolutely love it. They'll find a way to get in. They don't seem to be aggressive or anything, but they, uh, they'll smell out the melting wax a mile away. magic of television there's all these ones stamped out what I've done I've stacked them up lined them up obviously the edges are all a bit gnarly so just uh, line them up there stack them on a board now this is my template for what we're cutting today is for our WSP super frames so that board there is actually what we want to fill a full frame if you remember the full frame didn't fit into the fry pan so we, we made our wax paddle a little bit shorter. So what I need to do is I'll just tidy up the edges. Just so that I can get my uh, template on there. This is the width that we want. All I do now that I've got the template, try and line up the, the comb. Just 
So they turn it into sauce, that's it. wonderful stats there of foundation sheets. Don't forget when you are making them you can customize the thickness to what you want so obviously you top bar users out there are going to want a thicker one. Um, I did make a couple of thicker ones in here somewhere. There we go. So you can make them nice and thick so that when you've got your top bar up there you've got a nice solid foundation. Um, it's up to you what sizes you want. Have fun. Don't forget to keep creative. Um, now, subscribe, we've got a few more videos coming up that you guys are going to love, and if you've got any uh, ideas you want me to try and DIY for you, let me know, chuck it in the comments section and I'll have a go for you, and I will see you next time.